the golden ratio. This is a very interesting subject. There is uh, some mathematical proportions between the different components of the face. And you can see that in a horizontal, vertical dimensions. And this has been studied since the time of the great Greek uh, civilization. And uh, throughout the Renaissance and even uh, lately, a lot of surgeons have been uh, interested in the golden proportions. And the golden proportions is not only related to the face. You see in every structure in nature that is uh, beautiful. Even a chair who has uh, the right proportions, they look more beautiful than a chair that doesn't have the right proportions. Obviously, on the human body and on the face, this is more important because you are constantly analyzing unconsciously the structure of the face that you are seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is uh, something very inherent, innate to the human nature. It's nothing that has been learned by the media or uh, has been influenced by the media, uh, particularly in the last uh, few decades. This is something that the humanity knew about since the ancient times. So this is, uh, is something that exists in nature. This is a uh, mathematical proportions that exist in the structures that are beautiful. And um, the human brain is uh, programmed to react to these uh, mathematical proportions in a negative or positive way, depending how this proportion presents to you. When I examine a patient that comes for facial rejuvenation or facial beautification, I study the facial proportions. If uh, these facial proportions or golden ratio is not the present, then I will suggest to the patient that perhaps we need to address those issues. In that way, the result is going to be more natural and we're going to beautify the face in addition to rejuvenate.